you I think... mean, it does get called the flying tank a lot. Yeah, um, there's plenty of times, lots of videos of uh, the flying tank and it goes off ramps on the uh, uh, the tank biathlon and so forth and gets about 10 meters worth of leaping through the air. Um, uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty quick uh, with that gas turbine engine. Um, 48 kilometers an hour uh, off-road, cross-country. So plenty of movement there. All right. Yeah, John, tell us about some key dates and development. So the development story is interesting to the point I've actually, for the first time ever in this podcast, written out the development history. Uh, so in 1949, the Soviets had an idea. You know, jet engines were extremely new. Uh, and they were, they said, hey, what if we take one of these jet turbines and use it as a tank engine? Uh, and this was in 1949. They were way ahead of the world. Uh, their, their problem in 1949 uh, was that they didn't, actually know how to make jet engines um but they got lucky where did the soviets get their jet technology from rob uh well uh aliens must have given it to them yes <laughs> aliens now a lot of people would be like oh they captured it from the germans but no the german engines weren't that great the british had much better engines and they sold it to them 